Today we spent a fantastic day hitting the wrecks and reefs in Tampa Bay. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We had a fantastic today, spending an early March day in Tampa Bay, hitting some wrecks and reefs. It is sheep's head season, so we decided to try and go target some sheep's head out on Port Manatee Reef, the Shipping Channel, and Bahia Beach Reef, as well as a wreck that's just off Bahia Beach Reef. We had a fun time. I had my mom on the boat and my buddy Rob. Check it out. We started out the day by launching pontoon fish at E.G. Simmons Park in Ruskin. As we headed off towards Port Manatee Reef, you couldn't help but feel blessed to have such a beautiful day to be out on the water. All right, give us a thumbs up, Grams. Before I could even get my GoPro set up, I had a first hit off a flat line and caught this really nice mangrove snapper. He was about 12 inches. Obviously, you could see he was bleeding pretty good there. Didn't really matter because he was going in the box and coming home with us. We're going to fry him up for a fish fry later. And then it was time to get our lines back in the water, drop down, fish over the structure of the reef, and see what we could catch. So we're fishing two different types of baits here. We have baits on jig heads, which are chunks of shrimp that we're dropping down for the reef fish. We also have two rods off the back of the boat that are flat lines. Basically, there's no weight on it at all, just a hook with a live shrimp. That's kind of how we're fishing here to hit both the things that are down deep on the structure, as well as things that might be in the water column or on the surface. I'll go into that in more detail in a little bit. Rob's first fish of the day was a nice mangrove snapper. We're definitely going to take that one home. And then, while he was on a conference call for work, he was catching more fish. So in this one, he pulled up a nice grunt, and we threw that in the box, and he never even ended his conference call. Good job, Rob. We immediately had more action as my mom got what we came for, a nice sheep's head that was going in the box. Here's a pro tip though, if you can, never pull the fish out of the water like that with the rod tip way in the air. Luckily this fish was pretty light. If it was a heavy fish, we probably would have broke a rod tip. But my mom is uh, not a professional fisherman, so I just have to deal with it as it goes. But she did a great job landing this really nice sheep's head. Oh, yeah, nice. There you go. Other, other way. Yep, right like that. A little more. Perfect. At over 14 inches, this was a nice fish. They have to be 12 inches to keep. You doing good? Oh. Yeah. We were just you. about to move to a new spot, so yeah, we started shark. reeling in our flat lines when this little bonnet head shark if you want me to decided to hit the line. You, if you want to keep fighting it, you can. This is why we always keep flat lines out when we're fishing net? on the reefs. You never know what's going to be swimming by in the water column. We've caught yeah. cobia, sharks, bluefish, Spanish mackerel, shark. big jacks, all, right. all kinds of things yep, fishing with flat lines. It's going to run on you. Let it run. It's okay. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. Come here. Oh, nope. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's just... Yeah. There we go. Not my best net job, but we got him in. Grams. He's sharking. So, yeah. Uh, so, what I would do is you just kind of hold him like that. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. You ready? Got to get them all in the photo. My mom's first shark. She probably never thought she'd catch one of those fishing in Michigan as a kid. As the tide gets stronger, it's harder to keep your bait down in the structure. So I switch away from jig heads and I go to these Stewie jigs by Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. 
definitely check those guys out. And if you're doing a lot of reef fishing in Tampa Bay or anywhere for that matter, I definitely recommend you get some stewie jigs and some different sizes. And of course, tip them with a piece of shrimp and you'll be catching fish in no time. Water? No. The device? There we go. Fish on. Get? Little convict. Oh. Little sheepy. Is that big, big enough to keep? Uh, he's probably legal, but I'm probably going to throw him back. We'll see. In Florida, sheep's head need to be 12 inches to keep. This guy's a little short. And quite frankly, I always like to keep them when they're a little bit bigger, just so you get more meat. He's going back in the water. After a full day of fishing, it was time to head home. We had a beautiful ride on the way in. Check it out. Tampa Bay, the vast majority of fishing boats are center console bay boats, and I get it, those are great boats, but if you're looking for a different option to get people out fishing, especially kids, I love my Sylvan pontoon boat. It is a great boat to fish off of. It's very comfortable. The big bimini top, we're able to keep people in the shade. If you want to see an overview of this boat, I'll put a link down in the description below, and you can click right up here in the upper right hand corner and check out that video. As you can see we had a great time and here's the catch I'm gonna get these filleted up the first fish is a grunt the two middle ones are mangrove snappers and the right one is a sheep's head well guys it was really good to get pontoon fish out on Tampa Bay and go fishing even though I live here I don't spend a whole lot of time on Tampa Bay there's a lot of places I love to fish but Tampa Bay is just not one I get out on very often, but I love sheep's head season. Unfortunately, we didn't catch as many sheep's head as we wanted to. We only had one keeper and we had a couple of shorts. That's okay though, we had a great time and my mom catching her first shark, how awesome was that? That was really fun to watch her. I love taking my mom fishing. It's a great thing to get her outside and get her some exercise and all that. And man, fighting those little bonnethead sharks is a whole lot of fun. Guys, I want to thank my sponsor, Fish Huge Apparel. I love being a pro staff member at Fish Huge Apparel. Guys, if you want uh, one of their redfish shirts or their uh, Mahi Mahi shirt or their largemouth bass shirt, definitely check them out at fishhuge.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. And if you want to go fishing out on Tampa Bay, you can charter my buddy, Captain Christopher Weir. He's the one who owns Fish Huge Charters and Fish Huge Apparel. Tell him I sent you. I love fishing with Captain Chris. We have a great time when we go fishing together. So guys, if you have any questions about fishing Tampa Bay, fishing on a, on a, on a pontoon boat, getting out there, taking your kids camping, hiking, fishing, 
any of that stuff, we would love to hear from you. You can drop something in the comments below. Hit us up on our other social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Twitter. Or you can hit us up at our website at kempoutside.com. So guys, as you can see, we've made some changes to our YouTube channel. And we are doing a lot more of the vlog style videos and the gear reviews and that kind of thing. And we've moved all of our campsite reviews to this channel right here. Campsites by Camp Outside, which is our brand new campsites only channel. So if you're looking for campsites, definitely check that out. But if you want to see more fishing content, drop something down below. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. Thanks for watching Camp Outside. We will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.